Wow, <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, this is more like it. There we go. Look at that lovely smoke rising out there. Love it. So here we are in one of the more famous locations in Cyberpunk 2077, the market here. So is this, this is kind of without all the settings on, this is a rasterized... As you're saying, this is the game running in native 4K. Yeah. TAA on, so no DLSS. Uh, but let's make this look a lot better by using full path tracing. But I'd love to see this with everything running, but with no DLSS and see how well it does. Oh, it's chugging a little bit. Wow, <laughs> wow. <laughs> This is running native path tracing mm -hmm. at native 4K using the game's temporal anti-aliasing. No DLSS is being used here. So yeah. let's add in DLSS here. Okay, this is more like it. There we go. Look at that lovely smoke rising out there. Love it. Everyone's moving at a normal speed. <laughs> <laughs> no, here you're essentially multiplying the frame rate many times over by first uh, running the game at a lower resolution using super resolution from DLSS. It's running internally at 1080p and then being reconstructed up to a real native 4K. And then DLSS frame generation kicks in and multiplies that frame rate over by taking two frames and inserting generated frames in between them. Technology like DLSS, ray reconstruction, frame generation, super resolution, together with the path tracing, make a fully playable experience. 